guys, this is Lana Smith with Lana Music Studio and we are continuing our series of uh, lessons, videos about how to practice. And today's tip number four is practice by small sections. People who already experienced players know that a big piece is hard to learn from beginning to the end, playing just once or twice, but all the way through. It takes enormous time uh, you will not have much uh, attention to details and uh, it will be useful when you just start learning it and just have an idea what you're generally supposed to do. Or in the end when you already put together all the sections and you play like all the way through and you're working on the expression, on the tempo, on anything else. But when you just start learning the piece, you need to divide it by small sections. It's much easier for brain to um, accommodate all this um, information because when you start working on a new uh, piece, you need to figure out what notes you're playing, and you need to count the rhythm, you need to figure out what chords you have, you need to figure out um, fingering, and many other aspects. It's a lot of work for the brain, and let's be nice to ourselves and uh, don't get, get frustrated by loading too much on the brain and big information um, chunks. So let's take small chunks and um, I would say it would work uh, by phrases, especially for beginners and uh, intermediate uh, level people. Um, what is a phrase? Phrase is the musical sentence. Something that doesn't make sense. Does make sense. Uh, if you play just like you say yourself, oh I will just learn the first line. Line is the formal division, or page is formal division. It's really not making sense. I will uh, play you an example. Our uh, first line from Home on the Range, the famous song, uh, and I'll play just the first line. See how it really doesn't make sense if it would be by line. was already in the next line. So divide them by phrases that make sense. Uh, in a short phrase like this. Play it like several times, that will be easy. Or you can make it for longer phrase, but still uh, it will make sense. Sometimes you can define the phrase by, if you have words, it will be a comma or dot or something. Uh, if you sing the melody, if it doesn't have words, you sing this melody and probably a place where you take uh, breath, that would be the end of the phrase. Anyways, here's a longer phrase for that song. And that's where you can stop. Same thing, the page is not going to do anything um, for you. And sometimes people come and say like, yeah, I practiced the first page. Great. Wonderful. So if you're <laughs> playing this. End of the page. Cloudy. phrase but by something that makes sense when you play. Um, that was tip number four about how to practice. To always play by small sections, practice uh, by phrases and don't depend on the measure. And sometimes our phrase is starting from the middle of the measure. Nothing wrong with that. That's fine. Um, tip number four, practice by small sections and if you like my lessons please sign up for my channel or visit my website lana-piano.com and that's how it looks like lana-piano.com thank you for visiting